So I promised you a, a vibrant, happy piece. So let me get the flowers. I wanted to do something fun. I love the new Crespedia pop from uh, Danseur. It's imported by Marginpa. I love it because it's so big. I had to do something with it. So I found this little pottery, uh, which thinks that looks a lot like the Crespedia. So I had to do something to combine it. So that's how I've created the shape. I've played around with, do I want it to be a flower that goes up or down? But I like it like this because then you can turn it so the graspedias and the flowers will look onto you. We've got Latirus.nl with beautiful mango sunshine. And I will get back to you with that one. <laughs> oh, and sunset is the other one. Gloriosa, new orange and magic orange from Ansu Vanda. Some begonias. The thing you see over here is a liquid foam. It's just a little bit like Staroper foam, only uh, on Staroper Staro foam, the hot glue uh, will melt the Staroper foam. And this liquid foam can hold perfectly hot glue. So uh, you can shape and sand it in every shape you want. So that's why I like using it. A little secret, I've learned it from Atilira over here at the masterclass. And uh, I'm very happy uh, that I could use this uh, technique. So we have Susan Lan saying hi everyone. Here Susan. We have Joachim saying Connie, amazing, love <laughs> yellow. And he says also stunning base. Thank you. And a question from Angela. Do they smell as it's not summer? The latirus smells. And a question about the liquid foam from Angela. What do you mean with liquid foam? Is it the burr? Uh, no, it's a, a two component liquid and you combine it together and then it will expand about 20 times uh, the amount you've uh, put in. And to be honest, what is it used for to, to build boats, I think? Well, maybe you can find it if you type in Google liquid foam for boats. <laughs> Sorry if uh, my back isn't that interesting, but I can't turn it as easy as the, the bridal bouquet. So please tell me if it, uh, it gets annoying my uh, back. <laughs> so we have Santiago Duarte Campos saying Buen dia. Buenos dia. Hermoso. Hermoso. Is that what it means? Beautiful, hermoso? So Angela says, is it that you use for insulation offices or roofs, um, epoxy resin? No, it's not epoxy. Epoxy is much harder. I will look it up and then I'll put it in the comments afterwards. Is that an idea? So maybe I found it. This one says it's two part polyurethane flotation yes. foam. Polyurethane uh, foam. Yeah, that's and the it's, one. It's for boats. That's the correct one. Ah, yes. Angela says expendable foam. So yes, it expands. Yeah, it's funny because it expands about 20 times its original shape. And within a few minutes, you will, you can literally, 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 thank you for the difficult words. You can see it grow. That's really fun. Question from Frida. How do you water the flowers? There are little test tubes I've drilled inside the foam. So again, there's water and grisal in it. The beautiful thing about this piece is you can make such pieces for rental. So if you're a designer who works for uh, restaurants or hotels, one week you make it a little bit flowy, the next week you make it close to the foam because the uh, Craspedia from Danziger, it really dries in nicely. So you can reuse the shape and reuse and you reuse and reuse. So yes, it takes time to make the shape. But again, if you rent it, rent it out, you can multiply the money and the effort you put in. So yeah, please, make designs like that. The first time it takes a lot of time, but the second time you just have to put the flowers in. So Angela Hurt says, okay, Matt Landers uses it, but it's horrible to get off your hands, the yeah. foam. That's true. Please wear the, the, the gloves. Always be careful with your skin because you only have one. So the beautiful Gloria goes is in. Gloriosa go inside. It combines all the colors together because you've got yellow, orange and pink. And the Gloriosa has the orange with the yellow. Uh, and in the laterals, there's also the color mixture. So it's a really 
strong color uh, palette. So question from Jacqueline. What kind of material is the yellow foot? It's a pottery, uh, a, po a pot with a lid with it, which I've glued and I've drilled uh, three uh, little feet in it. So it won't collapse because if you don't put the feet in, the weight of the flowers will make sure the whole arrangement uh, goes flat. This is just a really thick iron from uh, building materials. Uh, that my husband bent for me. <laughs> Can't do without him. So thanks. <laughs> Question from Angela. What is the Craspedia attached to? Foam or the expendable foam with test tubes? Uh... No, it's glued because the Craspedia from Danziger uh, really dries in nicely. So you can use it as a fresh flower, but also reuse it in a dry uh, flower statement. And in the center will go Kalangawe and the little fondas. And I like it when that is a little bit closer to the shape, so you get more depth into your arrangement. So, Connie. Yes? Guess who? Alison Bradley says, hello, my darlings. Hello, Mama Bear. Sending big hugs. Oh, thank you very much. The step-by-step -step for fusion flower is coming, sorry. <laughs> That's also a great magazine, the Fusion Flowers. It's uh, uh, beautiful with new designs. Contests are in it, information about growers, so many things. It's absolutely a magazine I adore. And there's going to be a new uh, issue really soon. I think also around the 18 March or something like that. And there will also be a step-by-step -step in it from me. So please check it out. So a question from Frida, did you use a knife to get the foam in shape? Yes, I first cut it with a big bread knife. It's really uh, gekarteld, ribbled. The shape it goes like this. It has a lot of teeth. Yes, with strong teeth. And afterwards I sand it, so it's getting smoother. And then I paint it with spray paint. Underneath the Graspedias it's yellow. And the more it goes into the center, it's more like the, the orange pink tone color. And because it's the foam, it's a little bit like it's sugary. So uh, it makes the design uh, a little bit more sweeter. And again, it combines all the colors. I'm also placing a little a bit of Kalanjoy between the laterus. So it's a little secret here, here and there. And then we have the beautiful fandas. When it's like for an event, you're creating designs like this. Uh, because the fandas from Ansu are really strong. You can also glue them, so it will last also very long. If you spray your flowers afterwards with it, it will seal off the flower, but it's still brief. So it will last, but keep the moisture inside. For the Vanda, it's not really necessary, but like a Latirus or a Gloriosa, it's not the most strongest flowers. So it's great to use them. So Lisa Florista says, super cool. Thank you. Angela says, Connie, stunning as always. Thanks. Just try to make something uh, interesting uh, for you guys. And again, also a few vandas are placed between the laterals. So if people come and get closer, they also see the vandas in between. Alison says, Connie is a remarkable talent, a breakthrough designer in terms of floristry. I already had red cones, Mama Bear. Thank you. Connie, it's Jimmy now. Really amazing. Gonna go back and work. Hugs from Sweden and you at Borme. Aw, hugs back and have a nice working day. So how would you call this color palette? Sweet. <laughs> Very sugary, I think. <laughs> I must say the Craspedia almost looks like candy. Yeah, it is. But don't eat it. I don't think that's uh, good for your health. So Margaret says, I'm going to leave you guys for today. I found this very educational. And thank you, Connie. And till next time. Till next time. Thank you very much for watching. Also, kisses to all at the Burma Institute. So kisses back. Question from Alison. Is that the Margin Par Craspedia? Yes, it is the Danziger and imported by Margin Par. It is the Craspedia pop. Really nice, very big and absolutely amazing to use. And as I said, it also dries in perfectly. So you can reuse them if they're dried in the vase. It will also last really long. And the shape, the big size is just amazing. Were these the same Caspedias we used at uh, the Philadelphia Flower Show with Bill and Chris? 
Oh, I don't remember. I remember that we had these gigantic Graspedia. Yeah. And they, well, I think same so. as these. Yeah, because I only know the, the Dancing and Marching part, the big uh, Graspedia pop. They also have uh, another shape that's a little bit more like uh, an egg one. It's also amazing and also big. So just doing the last finishing touches. A few more hidden little secrets. So Angela says, Positioning of the flowers being scattered random, colors from the same color palette and so on trend for this year's Pantone color scheme. Yeah, the first idea I had was indeed with uh, the Pantone uh, yellow with uh, the gray, but I think with the uh, orange and the pink it's more a little bit sugary and more happy colors than the gray. Ah, nice. So Alison says, yes, the same. Denzinger sponsored them. Yeah. There were so many flowers, to be honest, that I can't recall every flower we've used because that was so amazing. Yeah, I, I remembered that one specifically because I was it was the first time I saw it. Yeah. And I took a picture of my hand and the ball in my hand and it was so big, I was just amazed. I haven't seen it quite often, the big Raspedia, so it's absolutely interesting. But also the orange Fanda, that's also a new one. So we're getting there. Here it is, a little happy color Raspedia bowl with Gloriosa, Ansu Vanda, Lateral Galangoe. Happy summer. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I don't know if Mike or anyone wants to say anything. Oh yes, we have something amazing. And I think we're going to show them. They are available now at our web shop and we have different colors and different sizes, boys and girls. Get ready, we have caps. <laughs> the Burma caps. <laughs> Don't know, there you can get them. Show them guys. Yes. You have to show them. And of course, thank you, Connie. Thank for you for inviting me and uh, uh, always a pleasure yes. to be here, so. So, thank you for Bye, watching, thank hope to see watching. you again soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button. Fix you! <laughs>